Gee, that was close. Somebody's gonna get killed here sometime. Someone should do something about it. I should do something about it. I will do something about it. Sorry, Brandon. I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long. I have a busy schedule today. It looks nice out, doesn't it? Yes, ma'am. Don't call me ma'am. You can call me Mayor Taylor, or your worship. You can call me you goddamn bitch for all I care, but never call me ma'am. Understand? Yes, Mayor Taylor. Good. Now I'll get right to the point. We have to move some of your money to social services. You'll need to get rid of someone I expect. I'd prefer to transfer people, but engineers don't make good social workers. But we're already understaffed as it is. Sorry, but we have higher priorities than your little empire. You'll have a couple of weeks to pick someone. Yes, Mayor Taylor. And don't try to get rid of Ling again. Now, before I go, I got a call from Vic Campbell. He has a new project coming in today. Give him the priority he deserves. Okay. Yes, Mayor Taylor. I'll see you later. You can find your own way out, I expect. You goddamn bitch. Good morning, Arthur. Earth calling, Arthur. Are you there? Oh. Link. I didn't see you come up. I guess not. Are you okay? Yes. Well. Not really. I was almost in a car accident this morning. Oh my. Are you alright? I'm fine. Just a little shaky. It'd be ironic if a traffic safety engineer got into an accident. Where was it? Gladstone Parkway. I decided to try a shortcut today. How did it happen? A big semi came around a curve and drifted into my lane. I'm not surprised. I've given it some thought. Would a median barrier help? I think so. Okay, I'll propose it to the boss. I don't think that is such a great idea. Why not? What have you got against it? Nothing. Don't get me wrong. I made the same proposal ten years ago. Oh. What happened? I got into a big fight with Brandon over it. He really took it personally. Now that he's the boss, do you think he'll be more open to it? Not a chance. So you think I should just drop the idea? No. That isn't what I said. You just need to be patient. Wait for the right time. You've waited for ten years already. When will it ever be the right time? You're new here. You're young. You can afford to wait. Brandon won't be here forever. A lot of people could die on that road before that happens. I know. But you can't help them if you get yourself fired. That wouldn't happen. This is the city. They don't fire people here. Don't count on that. It happened before and it will happen again. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you angry. Brandon fired a good friend and colleague years ago. I get angry whenever I think about it. Why did he do that? Did he do something illegal? She disagreed with Brandon in a meeting. Brandon thought that should be illegal. What happened to her? She moved to another city. She makes more than Brandon now. That must make him... Hush. The walls have ears. Don't you have some work to do? Yes, sir. McDonald. We have a rush job for you. Yes, sir. Campbell is coming in with an application for a development in Glencoe. But I'm in traffic safety, not development. 
We were short-staffed over there. You need to pick up the slack. But what about my other projects? They can wait. The mayor wants it approved by the development committee before their summer break. That only gives us a couple of weeks, and I go on vacation Friday. Well, if you can't get it through all the hoops by then, you'll have to cancel. But I have the tickets booked. On the other hand, maybe we can get it done this week. We set up the pre-meeting for 10. Be there. Yes, sir. What do you mean? Dennis, mind if I joined you? Yes. I mean no. Um, you can join me. Thanks. How are you? Okay, I guess. What are you up to these days? A new macro. It has been one struggle after another with it. Is that the same one as last week? I got that one done. That was a kind of experiment. It is a simplified version of the model. Let's you run several tests in a matter of minutes. On a tablet no less. That could be just what we need. Hey? Eh? I've got a rush job. Can you do a few runs for me now? I've got a 10 o'clock. Gee, I'm not so sure. I have that new macro to do. Don't worry. Brandon said this is top priority. The macro can wait. I guess so. What kind of project is it? It's a proposal for a mixed-use development in Glencoe on the southwest corner of North Point Road and Oak and Wald Parkway. What have you got on the development? The details are on the system. We don't have much on it yet, but I only need a preliminary analysis. What do you want to find out? I'd like some idea how big the study area needs to be. We want to keep it small, but we need to address all the issues. If you can get me a volume plot, I would be happy. That's all? What else would you suggest? Well, there is that proposed oak at Highway Bridge just east of there. Do you want it in, or do you want it out? Can you try it both ways? Give me a little while and I'll see what I can do. Oh, Link. Hi. How'd your meeting with Brandon go? He dumped a rush job on me. A development application. That's odd. Which one? A place called Glencoe. I guess it won't be so bad. A chance to do something different. Isn't that Vincent Campbell's project? Yeah. I meet him at 10. Have you ever dealt with Campbell before? No. I just know he's a developer. I don't expect that he is any different than any of the others. I don't want to poison the well. It is just that, I had a run-in with them shortly after I started. How did it go? I got into a lot of trouble. It almost cost me my job. How? I pointed out a little dishonesty in his proposal. He didn't like that. You were a real rabble-rousing troublemaker back then. I'll let you in on a secret. Don't tell anyone. I still am. That secret isn't very secret. No, I guess not. Letting certain people see you talking to me could be a career-limiting move. So what do you think I should do about Campbell? Avoid getting into a fight with him. It just isn't worth it. That didn't stop you. And look where it got me. I wouldn't trust him if I were you. I'm sure my grandfather would say the same thing. On the other hand, he hasn't done anything to me yet. Don't be too sure about that. I'll be okay. I hope I'm no Cassandra and I'm wrong about him. Keep your eyes open though. And don't let him find out you've even met me. Have you got anything yet? Just one more second. There. Done. Let's have a look. I should warn you that these results are based on a lot of assumptions. If any of them is wrong, the whole analysis is wrong. We'll get more information before we were through. What does it say? The impact dies away fairly slowly. It's still pretty important at two kilometers out. Shoot. That's a bigger area than I had hoped. There are not that many intersections in that area that we need to worry about though. That's good. How does the Urquhart Highway Bridge affect traffic? It makes a big difference. You can see that here. If the bridge isn't there, traffic is a real mess. See all the red? Yes. Then, when I put the bridge in, all of the problems go away. That surprises me. 
I wouldn't have thought it would make such a big difference. Are you sure? People are under no obligation to do what the model says they will. Even so, if half the people go elsewhere, that would still mean the bridge is key if we want the development to work. It isn't quite what I envisaged. What do you mean? I'll ask them to assume the bridge is out. With the low tax crowd and the tree huggers both against it, I expect it will end up as another linear park. Thanks, you've been a big help. We better get on our way. The meeting starts in seven minutes. Good luck. Aren't you coming? You want me there? Of course. Oh, um, I'm not so sure. You could be a big help. Don't worry. Your computer will still be here when you get back. It's after 10. Where are they? I don't know. Oh. There is Harold now. Sorry I'm late. Hard to find a place to park. If you use transit that wouldn't be a problem. Never give it a break do you? Harold, have you met Dennis? No I don't think I have. Just emails full of numbers from the model. Dennis, this is Harold Nelson. He is the consultant on the project. Nice to meet you. Now the name has a face. Where's your client? He shouldn't be long. I worked with Harold on the 7th Street Safety Review. Too bad they haven't done anything with it yet. I have another safety study I'd like to do. Up on Gladstone. Stop flapping your chops. I'm a busy man. We were just waiting for you. I will bet. Who are you anyway? My name is Arthur McDonald and this is... Never heard of you. Where do we meet? Here. Here. You must be joking. No. This is my work area. Where else would we meet? Do you know who I am? I'm a very important person. You don't expect me to meet in this, this, auditorium, do you? I don't have much in the way of other options. Well, you had better find something befitting my importance pretty fast. I'll go see if I can calm him down. See if you can get a boardroom. Oh great. Now what? The manager's boardroom is free. We can use that. How did you know? I have my ways. Come on, let's get on with it. Well, we've had a- I don't have all day you know. The mayor's private reception starts in a half hour. Yes, we can move on. I remember what I said to Emily the night she became mayor. I said, I hope that you wouldn't let petty bureaucrats waste my time. Okay, let's get started. She said call me anytime. We did some preliminary model runs on your development. Dennis found that with the Urquhart Highway Bridge in, there isn't much trouble. Good, then it's all settled then. That isn't what I meant. Well, what did you mean? Do we have to wait all day? It's unlikely that the bridge will be built until long after your development goes in. It might not ever be built. You must be joking. What do we pay taxes for? We want you to do the traffic impact study with the bridge out. I had a look at the model results and there are some assumptions I think you need to revise. They would change the result. I can do a quick run and see what difference they make. Don't waste my time. How long is this going to take? A couple hours. It doesn't take long. Make the capacity of that link 3127. Okay, three, one, two, seven. Are you sure? I normal round it off to the nearest 100. Yes, please make a bit. Okay, are there any other changes you'd like? Ah, no. That will do. This is taking too long. I demand you approve the development as is. We don't want city taxpayers stuck with the bill. That isn't my problem, is it? I'm sure when I talk to Emily, she'll agree that the city doesn't need to worry about what taxpayers want. Okay, done. Have a look. See the comparison plot. Yes, I see. Not much change. We'll have to do the study. Whose side are you on? Who cares what comes out of a voodoo black box anyway? It will go faster if we cooperate. I've had enough of your wishy-washy attitude. You're fired. You don't look too concerned. That's the fifth time he's fired me this month. Send me the files and I'll get to work on the study. How do you think it went? Okay, I guess. 
I wish that Voodoo had picked a different name for their program though. They seem to have a sense of humor. I haven't been to a meeting like this before. Did I do all right? Yes. You stepped in at just the right time. Do you think we need to worry about what Campbell will do? I doubt it. I think it is all for show. Good. What a day. I feel like it has been a week and it isn't even time for lunch yet. Why has it been so long? I was almost in a car accident on the way to work. That wouldn't be good. No. I think we need to put a median barrier up on Gladstone before someone gets killed. Can't you do that? No. Brandon isn't keen on it. And we don't have money for it anyway. I've been working with Mira on a project priority program. Maybe you can get that in there. Someone mentioned it to me, but I didn't know anything about it. Wouldn't hurt to ask her. Yeah. I'll do that. Thanks. Come in. Good morning, Mira. Hi, Atta. What brings you here? I hope you can help me with something. Of course. Have a seat. Thank you. I won't be long. What is it that you want? Dennis told me you were leading a project priority program. Yes. I was wondering if I could get a project on the list. It is quite late in the process. Oh. Besides, you already have a couple of projects on the list. I do. Yes. The Enwine upgrade and the Norris and Heather improvements. I guess I don't really understand how this all works. Can I add another? What is it? Maybe we can slip it in. I want to put a median barrier along Gladstone. Why? There's hardly any traffic along there. There are a lot of big trucks, and there is a great danger of head-on collisions. I haven't heard of any. What kind of traffic collision record have you found? Uh, um, nothing. I haven't really looked at it yet. What would it cost? Ah, my estimate needs some work. What did Brandon say? Well, I haven't talked to him yet. We'll need more than that if we want to make a case. Oh, you don't think it is a good idea? It might be. I really don't know. If you can give me something to work with, then we'll see. When do you need it? The draft goes to council next week. I'd need your input before Friday. That isn't much time. I'll see what I can do. Good luck. Thank you. What the hell do you think you're doing, McDonald? What do you mean? You know what I mean. I just talked to Mira. Oh. That's right. Oh. Ah. I only asked her some questions. Questions? Why did you want to push that barrier on Gladstone? I thought it was a good idea. You should have talked to me before you went to Mira. I wanted to explore the idea first. Well, don't waste your time on it. I looked at it myself years ago and it just didn't make sense. But You I... have that Glen Co project to do. Why aren't you on that? We met with them this morning. I expect Dennis will have the background information to them this afternoon. Oh. Okay. Good work. Just keep on top of that. And forget about Gladstone. Yes, sir. I just don't know Ling. Don't get too discouraged. It is just that he made me feel like I was two inches tall. Brandon's good at that. I think he is evil. He isn't evil. Not really. He has done a lot of good over the years. How can you say that after what he's done to you? I didn't say I liked him. We all have our good side and our dark side. He let his good side waste away. Don't let that happen to you. I hadn't thought of it that way. It took me a long time to see it. I guess I had better forget about that barrier for now. From what you told me it sounds like there may still be a way. You think so? Let me have a chat with Mira. I don't know if she can be trusted. She needs to protect herself. She's had her own run-ins with Brandon. So what should I do? Work on your other projects. The more you have them out of the way, the more flexible you can be later. Okay. There is something else bothering you, isn't there? Um, yes. Do you want to talk about it? It's Nancy. Is she alright? She is. I'm not. 
When I told her I might have to cancel our vacation, she hit the roof. She was mad at you. She won't return my calls. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you think she'll come around? I really don't know. You know her better than I do. If I can get the time off, she should be okay. I hope. Harold has the background information now. That was quick. I'm glad. We only have three more days. I found some tricks to save time. Normally we need to do a lot of manual adjustment, but I came up with a macro that automated most of that. Is it as reliable? Well, as reliable as any model is. I double checked it over before I passed it along. Good. You can go back to your macros now. Um, after the meeting yesterday, I talked to some people about Cain Bell. I heard some pretty wild stuff. I've heard some stories too. But, you know, people will talk. I don't put much stock in those kinds of stories. But, I hear he can play some dirty tricks to get his way. That's just negotiation. You know, the back and forth. Okay. You don't look too convinced. I'm alright, if you're alright with it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Arthur McDonald, can I help you? It's me that can help you. How? I talked to Brandon, and we agreed that that study really wasn't needed. All you need to do now is sign out and I can get started on my project. That doesn't sound right to me. Are you calling me a liar? No. That isn't what I meant. Just get that form signed by the end of the day. Come in. What the hell do you want now, McDonald? Campbell called me just now. He said you agreed to forego the impact study. I hadn't even talked to him. So, do you want to ahead with the study? Do you think we really need one? Of course. I want this over with as much as he does, but this could be a real problem. Damn. Okay then, tell him he has to do it. You had better talk to him. I don't think he'll accept it from me. That SOB. He won't be happy he ever says it. With a guy like him it is best to come right to the point. Do you agree? I think a gentler approach is needed with him. I really don't think so. I'll go for the direct approach. Hello. What do you want? Good afternoon Mr. Campbell. I hope you were well. This is Brandon Baker at the city. Yeah. I just talked to Arthur about our conversation this morning. Ah, uh, yes. We agreed that we do need that study. Well, that isn't what McDonald said this morning. He told me that he didn't need the study. I'm sorry, Mr. Campbell, but I don't care what Arthur said to you. That Mila Mouth was of a petty bureaucrat. I make the decisions here. I'm afraid you'll have to do that study, or drop the project. Just who do you think you are? You're not the boss down there. It would go faster if you just did the study. I'll talk to Emily and she'll put you in your place. That didn't go well. Do you think he will talk to the mayor? Who knows? We'll deal with that when it happens. How well do you know his consultant? Harold? We've worked together okay before. See if you can get him to go ahead with the study anyway. Could save us some trouble later. Harold. Got a couple minutes? Sure. What's up? I need to talk about that Glen Co study. Campbell told me that you agreed that we don't have to do it. Well, Campbell got it wrong. The study is back on. What happened? Brandon told Campbell we want it done. He did. I was there when he called. That surprises me. I was a little surprised myself. What about the mayor? She hasn't said a word yet. I want to make sure you get to work on it. I can't really go ahead with any work if the client hasn't authorized it. Unless the city will pay for it. No we won't. I think it will save you some time if you go ahead. I will. That is, if Campbell decides to go ahead with it. Campbell will have to go along eventually. I wouldn't be so sure. Campbell has real clout. 
The mayor can decide whatever she wants to, but for now, the study is on. We can wait. What's the big rush? I want this project out of the way as fast as we can get it done. I need to be careful, Arthur. I have to do what my client wants. Be reasonable, Harold. Don't play games with me. I'm sorry, but I can't just go and do it like that. I'll do what I can, but my client comes first. Can't you at least get set to go quickly if Campbell can't pull strings? I tell you what. I'll see how busy we are back at the office. If we have some slack I can get some work done on it. Thanks Harold. I do appreciate that. I didn't know what the situation was. And you know as well as I do what Brandon is like. Yes, I certainly do. So I don't blame you. I hope your protégé isn't in too much trouble. I think Arthur would be okay. I don't want people to think of me as his mentor though. I get the feeling that Brandon does already. Don. I hope you're wrong about that. Arthur has enough to deal with as it is. I didn't think that median barrier would be such a big deal with Brandon. I'm not surprised. It has been a sore point between us for years. Oh my. I didn't know that. Do you think there is any chance of getting it on the project list? I believe that if Arthur can put together a decent case, and Brandon doesn't go ballistic, I think we might make a go of it. I hope you are right. I put a lot of work into it over the years. Do you think there is a good case? Definitely. We did some field studies, and some computer simulations. Those field studies would be out of date by now, wouldn't they? I'm afraid so. No time to do any new ones either. Too bad. I don't want to encourage Arthur if it will just get Brandon angry at him. I'll see what I can do. It doesn't hurt to talk. I hope you are right. I screwed up my own career, I don't want to do the same to Arthur's. Oh my. Please don't be so negative. You have so much to offer. Brandon will never give me a chance to show what I can do. There are other people who appreciate your abilities. That's nice of you to say that. I suppose you're right. People have praised my work. See. Praise won't get me a new job though. Not much opportunity out there these days. Don't be so sure. What do you mean? Maybe I can help. How? I said maybe. If I can I will. Are you finished your review? I'm almost done. Just give me a minute. Done. I thought this was a pretty good report. Did you find any problems? I guess so. They've made some pretty extreme assumptions on generation and modal split. Is it that bad? This is fraud. They need to be sent to jail. I'm not sure what to do. Oh, Link, got a second. Can we pick your brain? I haven't got much brain left to pick. What is it? Dennis found some questionable work on the Glencoe report. Out and out fraud. Before you accuse anyone of fraud, you had better be sure you got it right. This chart compares their assumptions with the results of the last travel survey. That looks solid. We can't accuse them of fraud. We want to get a quick agreement on this. So you can go on vacation? They need to be put in their place. I don't disagree with you. On the other hand, you still want to avoid an outright confrontation. What do you suggest? What did the report find? He's identified a couple minor improvements. Would the problems you found change that? Yes they would. Set up a meeting, show them the chart and ask for changes. They don't have that information today. Well. They should. We put it all on our website. That makes it a little harder. Just pretend they didn't have access. I'll go call them now. Arthur. Yes. I talked to Mira. And? See what you can put together and she'll look at it. Good. Thanks. Why are we here? We gave you the study. Now give us the approval. We need you to make some changes to your study. Why? 
There isn't anything wrong with it. Some of your assumptions for generation and modal split are a little optimistic. Who says so? We compared your assumptions to our travel survey. Can't we see those results? I've put the results of the survey on our website. I'll email you the comparison charts I did. It would have been more useful if we got it earlier. How do you know that this is what people actually do? We did a travel survey. A survey? Why waste our precious taxpayer dollars on a survey? Why don't you just ask people what they do instead? Um, we did. That's what you do in a survey. I can go over your head, you know. That is your prerogative, of course. But we still want you to redo the study. You can't push me around. You'll regret this. Excuse me, could we have a short break? I would like to talk privately with my client. Yes. That might be a good idea. Come on, Dennis. Let's go. Look at those guys. It's disgusting. Just who do they think they are? Tossing us out of our own boardroom. Take it easy, Dennis. It could turn out better for us this way. We've talked it over. He isn't very happy. Does that mean he will refuse to do the study? Make no mistake, he is one very smart guy. Just a little stubborn. You think he'll go along? Give him a little time. How long? Don't worry. I'll have the new study for you by tomorrow morning. Well, I guess that's that. You really think we're done with this? Sure. Just a quick review of the study and it's over. Campbell didn't seem too happy. Won't that get us in trouble? No. At least I hope not. I feel the same way about Campbell as Dennis does. And I am very disappointed at Harold. Harold is just doing his job. Don't blame him. Well, Campbell is a crook. You warned me about that. Yes, I know. Sometimes he seems to more like a cartoon caricature of a developer than a real person. How do you stop a guy like that? First, you have to decide if you really want to stop him. What? What do you mean? Campbell may be a crook, but he still might create a good development. That's what you need to watch for. Why would he want to do that? He doesn't really. He just wants to make money. A good development is just a side effect. So we should just let him do what he wants? No. There is no guarantee of a good project, but don't automatically assume that all developments are bad. Some are, but many are good. Your job is to look out for the interests of society. But he can still beat us. You need to see development as an opportunity. Ask yourself if it can help us achieve the goals that Council gave us. It's hard to not care if he wins. You have to care. But, to be a true professional you need to learn how to care, and not care, at the same time. I see. It won't be easy. No it won't. I'm still not all the way there. What about Gladstone? Oh yes. I'm not sure when I can get it done. I can save you a little time. I'll email you the cost estimate spreadsheet I set up when I first looked at it. A spreadsheet that old might not work. I've updated it from time to time. I never gave up on it. Okay, that will help. Can you wait until tomorrow? I need to pick up Shia at the daycare. That will be okay. How is she? Fine. Keeps me slim and trim. She likes to play with toy trains. Takes after her mother. Dennis. Yes. Got a second. I guess so. What do you want? I wonder if you can help me with a report. How? You remember that barrier on Gladstone? Yeah. What happened with that? Mira is willing to take a serious look at it now. Good. I hope it works out for you. I've put together some accident stats and cost estimates. Yeah. I wondered if there was anything the model could provide to back up what I have. The model isn't really a safety analysis tool. So you can't help? Maybe. I did some work with a micro-simulation model. Can it estimate the likelihood of collisions? Not really, but it can be used to illustrate the situation. Do you think that would help? I guess so. At the very least the video will look impressive. We need to convince Brandon. You're in luck. He likes this kind of stuff. I want to take this to Miara this afternoon. Oh. I'm not so sure. Time is tight. If you can't do it, 
I'll just have to go with what I have. I take a look and see what I can do. Thanks. I can't promise anything. You can see in this chart how dangerous it is. Let's see. Yes. I am convinced. Thanks. Some counselors don't trust statistics though. I don't see why not. It is too abstract for them. Take a look at the model Dennis did. Oh my. I am skeptical of models, but for non-technical people an animation like this can carry a lot of weight. So we're okay now. What about your cost estimates? Pull up the next file. Ling gave me the one she did years ago and I updated it. Are you confident about these numbers? The project doesn't cost much. It isn't a very big project. I didn't think there would be a problem. I am not worried about underestimating the costs. What is the problem then? It is just that it is such a small project. It doesn't fit with the others on the list. So we can't include it? No. Well maybe. I'd have to check with construction. Why? My idea is to add it into another larger project. They would have to agree to include it. How long would that take? I will see them later today. If they agree, I'll set up a meeting for us with Brandon. I hope he agrees. If the construction people do, it will be hard for Brandon to reject it. I talk to the construction people and they don't have a problem with it. They usually don't. Do they? But... It will look strange if the report combines the two. I know it looks odd. If we didn't mention it, and the mayor, or one of the councillors caught it, we'd look dishonest. We weren't suggesting we keep it hidden. I can just hear Councillor Stewart now. What does that barrier on Gladstone have to do with an interchange in Queensland? We have the report that Arthur did to back us up. Oh yes. Arthur's report. I've skimmed through it. It didn't convince me. If you are not comfortable bundling it in with Queensland, we could try it on its own. It might convince Council. Yeah. It might. Or they could move the money somewhere else. Fix a park, hire a social worker, or buy a cop car. They might do that on any of the projects. I know. You both seem very convinced this is worth it. I certainly am. Why? Did you see an accident there? Well, not an accident really. A truck almost hit me a few days ago. Oh my. Damn. That explains a lot. What were you doing there anyway? I thought it might be a good shortcut. If you want to find a good shortcut, go ask Dennis. We know you're busy. We don't want to take up too much of your time. Okay. Give me one good reason to send it to council. The field studies that were done back then showed a lot of near misses. While there have been no head-on collisions yet, when it does happen, it will be front page our news. If it happens. The analysis that Dennis did indicates it's only a matter of time. Besides, it is not an expensive project. That's more than one. I really don't want to take this forward. I tell you what. Take it to the Priority Study Open House. See if anyone agrees with you. When is that? Tonight. Tonight? That doesn't give me much time to prepare. Be there or forget about it. I'll get on it right away. You can go, Mira. I want to talk to Arthur privately. Sit down. Yes, sir. What did you... Just what has gotten into your goddamn mind, McDonald. Sir? You don't remember what I told you. Do you? I said to forget about Gladstone. You just agreed to take it a step forward. Never mind that. That's not relevant. What is important was that you disobeyed a direct order. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it. You won't have much of a future here if you mess up like this again. Yes, sir. You would be better off if you didn't pay attention to advice from certain people in the office. They don't have your best interests at heart. I will, sir. And one more thing. Have you gotten Glencoe approved yet? Well, no, not. Not yet? If you would just pay attention to your own work instead of gallivanting off on your own, you'd have it done by now. 
We are still waiting for the consultant's report. I thought you had that report already. We asked for some more changes. Oh, okay. Don't forget what is your top priority now. Don't just sit there. Get to work. Yes, sir. Arthur McDonald, can I help you? Harold here. What's up? Ah, uh, yes. We have some major questions about your model. Who has questions? Campbell. What's his problem? The parameters, land use assumptions, the assignment algorithm, and so on. All the documentation for the model is online. Yes, but we want to check nine ways to Sunday. We'll never make our schedule if we get into that. You can always accept our original report. I see. Well, don't spend too much time on that option. We won't back down. Okay. It's your decision. I'll have an email with our questions off you in a few minutes. Make sure to CC Dennis. Will do. Well, so much for my vacation. We have a problem. What kind of problem? Campbell is questioning the model. What? That could be their email now. This is nonsense. He hasn't got any real questions here, just a list of parameters. Is it really that bad? Take this for example. He just says alpha. What alpha? We don't have any alpha in the model. We can. Why pick on us? We don't deserve this. This. Don't take it personally. It's just business. A negotiation tactic. But why the model? It's the weakest link. You know that. It's still not fair. No it's not. But we have to deal with it now. I know. Come on. We need to reply to them. Put the ball back in their court as quick as we can. Okay. Aren't they the ones who are all fired up to get this done quickly? I have my own deadline. Actually we both have a deadline. They want to put pressure on us. If this goes badly, we'll all be in trouble. I want to get back to my real work. You will, but this comes first. We need a tactic that puts the pressure on them. Can you do some sensitivity analysis? Why? If we can show that the problems they raised don't change the outcome, they haven't got a leg to stand on. I should have thought of that myself. We'll need some charts so we can explain it to the politicians. I find it hard enough to explain it to other transportation planners. We just need to make them realize it isn't the easy out they hoped for. The more confident we look, the more likely they'll back off. I hope you'll take care of the confidence part. Can you put together some runs to address their questions? Here, point one. And point two. I can get that done right away. We did similar tests last month. We can use those results. Good. I can do a quick model run to take care of point four. It's a fairly simple change. Point five is simple too, but I need to do several runs. What about point three? Ah, uh, now that one is a problem. I'd have to modify the macro, and that is a trial and error process. I might not get it done this week. That could be a problem. Okay then. Do one, two, four and five. Send them off to Harold. Leave three until after. If they back down, we may not need it. Will do. You don't look very happy. A problem with the model runs? Let's start with the good news. I got all of the easy ones done. The results are on the G drive. Okay. As you can see, there is some variation, but I don't think any of the problems are big enough to worry about. Good. Did you send them to Harold yet? They're ready to go, but I wanted to talk it over with you first. It looks good to me. You said good news. Does that mean there is some bad news? Well partly good, and partly bad. Go on. I found a way to do the hard test much faster. 
I got all it done. That's good, and... That's the bad part. When we vary the distribution parameter, it makes a huge difference. All the traffic flow in the area changes. If we move it up, performance improves quite a lot. If we move it down, then it gets much worse. They'll really go after us on that. We will need to come up with a good response. I'm not so sure there is a way out. I have to leave for a public meeting in a couple minutes. Let's leave it for now. Maybe we'll think of something. I hope so. Arthur, are you ready yet? Yes. I think so. You think so? You have been talking to Dennis too much. Sorry. Yes. I am ready. Just got the plot done at the last minute. That is always the way, isn't it? Good luck. All set to go. Almost. Have you done this often? I've lost count. Have you done many? Very few. Ah. Well, actually, this is my first time. Worried? Yeah. Don't be. They don't bite. At least not too hard. Thanks. I feel much better. Do you think this looks okay? The graphics people approved this. No, I didn't think to ask. I didn't have the time anyway. Why is that? This was scheduled for weeks. I only found out I had to come an hour ago. Sorry. I should have warned you to expect it. That's okay. I hope this works. They should start arriving soon. I better get back to my poster. Good luck. Oh no. What's wrong? I misspelled Gladstone. I look like an idiot. Those things happen. I can't leave it like that. I have some typewriter correction paint. Just paint over the error and write in the correction. My handwriting isn't that neat. Here. Let me do it. Dennis looked really angry when I left the office today. Yeah. That Glenn Co. project has him upset. What happened? Harold and Campbell are second-guessing his model forecasts. He doesn't like that. He'll need to get used to being second-guessed. Nobody likes to be second-guessed. Reality always second-guesses forecasts. If he can't accept that, then he needs to find a new career. There. How does that look? That almost looks like it came right off the plotter. Back in the old days everyone could do that. None of the new people seem to know about it anymore. Adding a link. Hi. Can I help you? That's up on Gladstone, isn't it? Yes. I am very impressed. Did you do it yourself? Well, the computer did most of the work, but I helped. You're funny. Do you have any questions? Let me have a quick look. It's quite a small project, isn't it? At least compared to the others. Well, yes it may be small but that doesn't mean it isn't important. Traffic is not very busy along there. I don't see why you would want to do anything. The main reason for the barrier is to improve safety. Is there a safety problem? Yes. Trucks going south often drift into eastbound traffic at the turn. I can't see why they would do that. A few years ago, we had a psychologist look into it and he said it due to an optical illusion. Like Magnetic Hill? Yes. I see that now. I think you must be a very caring person. Well, that is my job. I want to look at the other projects. I wouldn't want to be swayed by a pretty face. No, of course not. Have a look around. Thank you. I hope I can talk to you again sometime soon. Yes.
how do you people come up with this stuff? Oh, sorry. I said, how do you clients come up with this crap? Well, we combine cost estimates with the... Yeah, right. Gladstone is as safe as a mill pond. Just was bought you off on that one. We have identified some safety issues there. Oh, safety issues? Like what? There is danger of a head-on collision. It'll never happen. We have seen several near misses. Near misses never killed anyone. We have been lucky. Next time we might not be. My. Really? Another nanny state excuse? People's lives are at stake. Why should my tax dollars go to protect some idiot that can't drive? The risk isn't just to the bad drivers. That could be you someday. So you think I'm an idiot? Do you? No, that is not. You'll regret that. What's your name? Arthur McDonald. I'll remember. Oh yeah, my name is George Foster. When I'm done with you, you can only wish you could forget it. I've got it. I was on my way home from the open house last night and it all became clear to me. Yeah. Our problem is that we want to allow them to push the assumptions as far as they want, without any real change in the outcome. Right? I guess so. Bring up the network. There. If we remove Underwood Bridge, it would put us back where we want to be. I didn't think it mattered until now. Let's see if it works. It helps, but it doesn't solve our problem. Maybe. No, that won't work. Don't be too quick to dismiss your ideas. It could spark a better idea. After we talked yesterday I realized that it would help if we accepted their suggestion on the truck generation rate, but not enough to get where we want to be. I was about to suggest that, but since it wouldn't solve the problem, I decided not to bother. But, what if we do them both? Try it and see. Not quite. It's almost there. If we can find another adjustment we'll be home free. Can we change that bypass parameter a little? It may be hard to justify. Let's see if it helps first. Great. I'll set up another meeting. I don't like it when the mayor calls me like that. No, sir. Look it, I know it was your first time. You need to clean this up. Understand? Yes, sir. But all I did was... No excuses. Remember, the boss is always right. And around here, the taxpayer is boss. Yes, sir. He. George Foster, that is, has complained about the way you pushed the damn Gladstone barrier. I just tried to explain. You don't explain. You listen. Now, we've set up a meeting with Mr. Foster. At 11 o'clock, you will apologize to him. Give him what he wants. Now get to work. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir, but about the barrier. What about it? Will we take it forward? We did get some positive feedback on it. Yeah, so I see. I tell you what, if you can get Foster to agree, we'll add the damn thing to the list. Thank you, sir. Link. I need your advice. I don't have much time right now. I have an... Ah... Uh, um... Appointment I need to get to. Can you spare a minute at least? Alright. But I can't talk for long. I have to talk to that guy Foster in a few minutes. Oh... Him. Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah. He complained to the mayor. If I can't convince him to agree, then the barrier is toast. I can't really tell you how to convince him. Everyone is different. You can't analyze a person like you can analyze a truss. I'm doomed. 
I do have a couple ideas you can try. Good. Remember he is angry. As long as he is angry, he won't open up. Let him get it out of his system. Then you can talk. So I listen. And repeat back what he says. And repeat back what he says. And let him know you're listening. You may be surprised at what he has to say. You make it sound easy. It's not. Believe me. It's not. Are you even listening? Okay. Let me see if I understand. Firstly, you are worried about taxes. Is that right? But that isn't all. Secondly, you don't feel the city should improve safety on Gladstone. That isn't what I said. Man to say. You make it sound like I don't care. Okay, I got that wrong. How would you express it? Ah, it's just that it won't help. I see. Secondly, you feel the plan won't work. Not feel. I know it won't work. So, secondly, you know the plan won't work. Do I have it right now? Okay, sure. I'm less sure I understand the third point. Not so perfect now, are we? I have a lot to learn. Could you repeat it again for me? I don't like your low at all attitude. Understand now. Thank you. I'll be more humble. I'll bet. Have I covered everything? Of course not. What about my sewer? Sewer? Yes, sewer. Didn't you hear me? What's the problem with your sewer? It gets plugged up and won't drain. What are you going to do about it? I don't see how we can help. We're the transportation department. We don't do sewers. You are the city, right? Yes. And the city is responsible for sewers, right? Yes, but the sewer department takes care of the sewers. So what? It's still your job. If you want I can talk to the sewer department. That is, if you would like me to. Give the man a prize. Let me see if I understand you now. You want the city to take care of your sewer? Didn't I just say that? Do you still object to the safety improvements on Gladstone? How else can you pay for my sewer? It comes out of a different budget. What a mess. Okay. I'll see that your sewer will have top priority. Finally, someone down here is taking responsibility. Would you have a problem with the Gladstone safety improvements if your sewer was fixed? Hey, as long as I get my sewer fixed, then it's no skin off my nose. Do you even know anybody in sewers? No. Right. And you committed them to all that work. They are really going to like you. The customer is always right. Don't act so damn smart. You can go talk to sewers. Yes, sir. And don't expect any help from me. No, sir. Okay, then. You said Foster had no objection. If he gets his sewer done, he doesn't care. Yeah. Well, then. If you want your little barrier built, then you better get his sewer taken care of. I'm not sure when he'll be here. Can we get started anyway? I can't agree to anything until he gets here. Of course, I understand. What about those yellow heads? The yellow heads? Who are they? They are the local hockey team. Oh. Well, we might save time if we review the technical details. Sure. Have you had a chance to read over the material I sent you? Yes, I did. They won't change the results of the second study, so that isn't an issue. Good. Campbell won't be very happy. No doubt. Some of your new assumptions do seem a bit extreme. People who live in glass houses. This is totally unacceptable. You better stop playing games with me. I don't get mad, I get even. There is no change in our position. You're out to lunch. 
we think the roadway improvements we've identified are reasonable, given the size of your project. You do, do you? Well, it doesn't really matter what you think. You don't make the final decision. No, I don't. I can go directly to the development committee you know, and they'll put you in your place. Fine by me. You just go right ahead and do that. Arthur. Yes, sir. Just what were you thinking? Sir. The Glencoe proposal. Oh. Council doesn't like it when projects land on their desks full of loose ends. They won't be very happy with this mess. I am not very happy. Sorry. Sorry won't cut it. If it helps any, Harold called to say that Campbell seems ready to agree to our requests. Good. That will help. But if he doesn't come through, you could be in real trouble, and I can't protect you. Yes, sir. You know that Campbell is one of the mayor's best buddies, don't you? You understand what that means? Or are you politically naive? Yes, sir. Good. Now, don't give the man a bad time. Understand? Yes, sir. You better be ready for the development committee's questions Monday. Monday? Yes, Monday. Wake up, why don't you? Yes, sir. I got a call from Councillor Stewart's office. She has some questions about your little barrier. Go make her happy. Yes, sir. Oh. And don't keep dragging Dennis along to your little get-togethers. He has his own work to do. But... I feel I could use his help Monday. Don't you understand what no means? That wasn't very nice of him. No. I really messed up with Campbell. Lost my temper. Don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah. I know I shouldn't. I would have been better off to approve it and work on the barrier instead. How is that coming? Brandon says I have to set up a meeting with Councillor Stewart. Why? That isn't in her ward. No idea. I hope it isn't important. Probably nothing to worry about. Well, at least Council will see it now. That further along than I ever got. I won't get any farther though. Why? When Glencoe goes to development committee, I'm sure to lose all credibility with the mayor. I don't see how that could happen. With the mayor in Campbell's pocket I'm sure they'll make me look like a troublemaker. Who told you the mayor was in Campbell's pocket? Brandon did. He said I was politically naive. And he was right. Brandon is in no position to criticize. What do you mean? You weren't here for the last election, were you? No. Campbell was a high-profile supporter of her rival. He dumped all over her. Oh. Campbell is just about the last person she'd go out of her way to help. That is reassuring. Not that it matters much now. You never know. How was the dentist? Dentist? Your appointment this morning. Any cavities? Oh. Yes. I guess you could say there was an opening. Do you have to go back for some work? I might have some work. I should hear soon. Are you all ready for your vacation? The vacation is off. I have to be here Monday for the development committee meeting on Glencoe. Nancy must be disappointed. I doubt she cares. She dumped me when I told her last night. Oh. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Hey. Life goes on. I am glad you could meet with me on such short notice. I am happy to be of service. You live up in the northeast? No, southwest. Not in my ward then? No. Good. I want some changes to your Gladstone Parkway proposal. I see. I want you to add signals at Donna and Ruby. I don't see how we can do that. They are in different parts of the city. I don't care. Make it happen. There isn't enough money in the budget to do both. Well then, drop the barrier. That will free up the money. But that would defeat the purpose of the project. So what? Well... Is it hard for you to understand what I say? Uh, no. I see what you mean. I will go make the corrections now. Good. Hi, Arthur. Hi. Got a minute. I was just about to leave. Sorry to bother you. 
I can wait till Monday. I won't be here then. Well, I hope you enjoy your day off. This is my last day here. What? Why? I got a new job. Oh. Congratulations. I'm glad to hear that. Where? I'm the new head of transportation for Quincy. Well, that is quite a step up. Or across the river anyway. Yes. A little scary too. I bet Brandon will be jealous. He wasn't too happy when I told him. I really didn't expect you to leave. Neither did I. Um. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier, but I didn't want to tell anyone until it was all settled. That's okay. It won't be the same here without you. It's never the same. Things change every day. Well, I guess I should let you go. I can spare a minute or so. What did you want? I just met with Councillor Stewart. She put the brakes on the Gladstone barrier. She did? Yes. She wants the money for one of her pet projects. That is too bad. I thought it just might happen this time. I wonder if it was worth all the effort. Maybe it was a mistake for me to try. Do you really believe the barrier would save lives? Yes. Then you did the right thing. Well then. I can't quit now. Can I? I don't know what to do though. Maybe something will pop up. Maybe. Anyway. I should let you go. Good luck. Oh, by the way. I have some openings I need to fill. That is. If you are interested. Ah. I can't see myself changing jobs right now. Down the line. Who knows? Well, keep it in mind. Okay. I really don't think there is anything we can do now, Arthur. Shoot. Oh my. I was afraid I was just grasping at straws. You can try again next year. Yes, I will. I had a thought. We tried to add the barrier into another project before. Can we try it again? I don't think so. Brandon was very clear about that. We had a long discussion about it after we met. He wasn't very supportive when he talked to me either. I do have some more work to do. Oh sorry. I didn't mean to keep you from your work. I do not mind. I just had another thought. Yes. Well, is there any way we can reduce the cost estimates from another project to find the extra money for the barrier? I do not control the estimates. That is done by the construction team. I cannot change them. Oh. Sorry. I'm grasping at straws again. Now that you mention it, I have one more meeting with construction to check the cost estimates. I can ask them. Thank you. Don't get your hopes up. I can't promise anything. I understand. But good luck. Arthur. Oh Miera. I didn't hear you come up. I have some good news for you. What? Is it about the barrier? Yes. I talked to construction and they found a way to cut enough to let us add Gladstone. Great. So we're okay to go now? Not quite. Oh. We still need Brandon to agree. Shoot. Do you think he'll agree this time? I don't see why not, but you can never be sure about him. At least we have a chance. We still need approval by the transportation committee. And then council has to vote on it. It seems so complicated. Things are always complicated when money is involved. Yes. I guess you're right. I'll set up the meeting with Brandon. You will want to be there. Of course. I might as well get the blame. Thank you. Damn. Don't you ever give up? Um, no. Don't answer that. I don't want to know. Alright you two. Why should I approve this? The situation has not changed since you agreed to it before. Except for Councillor Stewart tossing it. She wasn't opposed to the barrier. She just wanted the money for her project. And with the cost reductions we found, we can do both projects. Well maybe Council would rather not spend the money we saved from those other projects. Isn't that for Council to decide? 
Another crack like that and you'll be on your way to the unemployment office. We do not wish to disturb you. We do believe that the barrier is a wise choice. Yes, we do need to be cautious. If we had more time I would let you study it further. Ah uh, yes, but we have no time left. We do, if we put it into next year's list. That is certainly an option you can choose. But I believe that the sooner we do it the better. That is true of all the other projects too. And that includes some that didn't make the list this time. All we ask is that you send it forward to the Transportation Committee and Council. All right. I give up. Let them deal with it. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me. Just get back to work. Dennis, I'm glad I happened to run into you like this. How's the macro? Um, okay, I guess. Not much of a challenge. Although, it does have an interesting twist. What's up with Glencoe? I'm glad you asked. It's all good. It goes the development committee in a half hour. A half hour? At least that's what the schedule says. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. Actually, I may need a little more of your assistance. Could you join me down in the committee room? You know, just in case. I'm not so sure. Brandon was pretty irate the last time. Besides, I've got a deadline. Well, there is a laptop in the committee room. Could you use that? I guess so. I would like to watch. Good. I have to check the agenda again. Then I'll see you there. Sure. Okay. What the? Well, you bastard. Shoot. Just what do you think you're trying to pull? What? Lenko. Don't play dumb. I really don't know what you're talking about. I just got a look at the final application. You went and added an office tower to the plan. This is the first I've heard of this. I thought I could trust you. Why'd you go and pull a trick like this? I'm not jerking you around. We never looked at an option with an office tower. Are you telling me the truth? Yes. Definitely. I don't know what to believe. Look. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'm confused myself. So you don't even know what impact this has? No. And there isn't enough time to do an analysis now. Shoot. Just a minute. I have to talk to Dennis. Dennis. Oh, I didn't see you. This macro is real tricky. We have a problem. I hear. They snuck in an extra tower. None of what we've done takes that into consideration. Just a sec here. Okay. I see. That changes the whole analysis. Our plan won't work. I'm afraid so. Can't we just get up and say that? That would stop them. We don't normally get to talk. Besides... The report says we've approved it, so why bother to ask? Isn't there another way we can try? No. There is a slight possibility we'll get a chance to talk. How? I heard that the mayor doesn't like Campbell. I don't see how that helps. She might look to us for an excuse to give him a bad time. Do you think she is that vindictive? Well, no. But it could get her to ask the question. If she does, we need to come up with a compromise solution. We could ask for a staged development. Delay part of the development until after the Urquhart Highway Bridge is built. Could work. We don't say no, just not yet. 
Can you do some model runs to see what the limit would have to be? I'm not so sure. Give a try. I'll see what I can do. Can we come to order? Thank you. Now, Mr. Campbell, could you give us your presentation? Yes, Mayor Taylor. As you can see, the Glencoe development will be one of the most beautiful sites in the city. It will bring glory and international recognition to all of you. It will be a real feather in your cap. If I could interrupt for a moment, Mr. Campbell, would you tell us about the cost to the city? Why, yes. I am glad you asked. We are well aware of the concerns of the city. I believe that I can assure you that I am not at all worried about what the city will need to pay. Mr. Campbell, I have received a lot of email from citizens who worry about the traffic from your development. I haven't anyone expressed that to me. Can you give us some reassurance about traffic? Why, yes. Just have a look at this architect's drawing of the development. I don't see any cars at all. Just pedestrians. Mr. Campbell, I do like the design of that arrow on the left. Could you talk more about that? Yes. Why, yes, I can. We brought in an architect from Hong Kong. She did a bang-up job. Does anyone have any more questions for Mr. Campbell? No. Thank you, Mr. Campbell. We appreciate your efforts. You may sit down for now. Thank you. I have some questions for Mr. McDonald. Yes, Mayor Taylor. I want to hear more about the traffic from Glencoe. It says here that you have no problems with the traffic. Yes, Mayor Taylor. I can understand your concern. Glencoe is a large development. So you agree that your approval may have been premature? We did anticipate that there could be some objection, so I... Or rather we have developed an alternative proposal that we are confident will address your concerns. I'm glad to hear that. I hope the other members of the development committee will consider it. Certainly. I agree we at least listen to Mr. McDonald's suggestion. Good. Now Mr. McDonald, could you tell us more about your proposal? Yes, Mayor Taylor. What we found in our analysis was that when we included the Urquhart Highway Bridge, there were no traffic problems. You want us to build that bridge now? That isn't very practical, is it? No, it isn't, Councillor Stewart, and it is not what we wish to propose. We believe that a portion of the Glencoe development be postponed until after the bridge has opened. That sounds reasonable. How much would we need to delay? Oh. Ah. Uh, um. Our analysis suggests that if the main tower is delayed, that would resolve the issue. That does seem extreme to me. It is a very beautiful tower. Yeah. But the traffic is ugly. Thank you, Mr. McDonald. And our outspoken Mr. Kennedy. I think we can make our decision. All in favor of Mr. McDonald's proposal, raise your hand. I said, I said All opposed. Good. Mr. McDonald's proposal is accepted. I think we can move on to the next item. Thank you gentlemen for your help. Could you please bring in the next group? Miera, how did the committee meeting go? Fine. They talked a lot, but no one even mentioned Gladstone. Is that good news or bad? I believe it is good news. No one questioned it. Good. How about council approval? The project list is on the agenda tonight. So we'll know for sure tomorrow. Good luck. Thanks. Hello. Oh, hi. Um, did you enjoy our open house the other night? Yes, I did. How did it turn out? Very well. My project got a lot of support. A couple minor hoops to go through, and it goes to construction. That is nice to hear. Well, then. 
Um, well, my name is Arthur. Nice to meet you, Arthur. My name is Guinevere. Guinevere? Really? Actually, no. My real name is Zelda. Nice to meet you, Zelda. Would you like to join me for a coffee? Oh, I'm sorry. I just had my break. That's okay. I'm free for lunch tomorrow. I'm free too. All right. We'll meet here and go on a search and eat patrol. Sounds good to me. Gladstone won't put the project list over the budget limit. Good. Only that isn't what the budget is. But, that's what you told me, didn't you? Yes, but it's changed. Council decided last night to cut it. We have to find $250,000. Why? Because council said so. Okay. Shouldn't me ever be here? I meet with her later. But before I do, I want to talk about some of your projects. Why mine? Everyone needs to cut. How much? From you. About 80,000. Well, we can't cut Councillor Stewart's pet project. Not if you want to keep your job. I think we can do without the Unwin upgrade. No. That has to stay. Norris and Heather? Okay. That can go. Where does that put us? Um, that still leaves $40,000. All right. The Gladstone barrier is out. Come on. You know it has to go. It's just... It's a real problem. They are real problems, kid. We can't do them all. I guess not. Is it really more of a problem than any of the others? Well... Someone was killed on Dunwin last month. What about Gladstone? There hasn't been any serious collisions there. So it really isn't that important, is it? Well... It isn't that urgent. You agree then? Yes. It can come off. Good. Arthur. Oh. Hi, Harold. I hope that there are no hard feelings over Glenko. Well, you were just doing your job. Yes. You don't look very happy about that. No. It isn't Glen Cole, or you. I was just disappointed about the Gladstone barrier. Gladstone? Oh yes. You mentioned that to me. We almost got it approved, but Brandon talked me out of it. He is your boss after all. Yes. I know. I just wish I hadn't given up so easily. It's not your responsibility anymore. I just hoped I could make a difference. Remember that the customer is always right. Don't expect them to always agree with you. Still. Oh, I don't know. Don't let it get you down. After all, it is all pensionable time. Sure. I read your memo. It wasn't what I expected. You asked me to get rid of someone. I would have thought that when Ling left, you would just eliminate her position. Her position is one we need and I will have to fill it. I see. Can't you have Mr. McDonald take over? He isn't qualified. He impressed me at Development Committee on the Glencoe Project. But, Campbell didn't get what he wanted. Good thing too. Oh. I won't support you if all you do is make life difficult for the people you don't like. This isn't personal. Maybe. Anyway. Unless you come up with a better reason, McDonald stays. Yes, Mayor Taylor. You may leave now, Mr. Baker. Yes, Mayor Taylor. Did you hear the news? No. I haven't checked it lately. A crash on Gladstone Parkway. Is anyone hurt? A young mother and her two kids dead. Oh no. A truck hit them. Head on. Right where I wanted to put that barrier. What do we do? What you have to do is explain it. Me? Yes, you. The mayor and councillor Stewart will have questions. Questions? Like, why you never proposed anything to prevent it. But, I did. Did you? Who was that said there hasn't been any fatalities there? I did. 
But and didn't you say it wasn't urgent? Yes, but you said it. Take responsibility, kid. But you don't try to place the blame on me. It was your project. Now get to work, kid. <laughs>